Treatment for depression can take several forms. Prescription medication, electroconvulsive therapy, what they used to call shock treatments. And for those who don't respond to traditional treatment, there's a promising but controversial option. Channel 2's Sarah Donchi explains how ketamine, known by many people as a party drug, is being used to help treat depression. Brian Ellers and Nicole Winkler don't know each other, but they share a parallel experience. Deep depression that started in childhood. It sucks all the good things away from you in your life. It takes away, it takes away tomorrow. And without tomorrow, life isn't really worth living, is it? Depression, you, everything's dim. Things that you love hold no value anymore and it you physically manifest the stress you feel. Ellers and Winkler are among the 30% of Americans who don't respond to conventional treatment therapies for depression. I went down the road of, you know, traditional methods and uh, for, for treatment and it, I had a horrible experience. It gets to the point where you just know inside of yourself somewhere that there's nowhere left for you to go. Brian was on the verge of electroshock therapy when he found this, infusions of a drug called ketamine, approved in the 60s as a safe form of anesthesia. Some know it best as a psychedelic club drug called Special K. Some drugs can be abused, um, you know, that are very medically useful, and there's nothing we could do about that. We're using extremely low doses, uh, very sub-anesthetic doses. Even so, some patients do experience a ketamine high from the treatment. But that passes after 30, 40 minutes. And after that, you feel completely normal. Oxycologist Alberto Augustin says in the wrong patient, ketamine could cause serious side effects. So for instance, if somebody is predisposed to having psychosis, or if somebody has schizophrenia and you utilize a drug like ketamine, you can actually make them more psychotic. Ketamine is not approved for the treatment of depression, so patients have to pay out of pocket for a series of infusions that can cost several thousand dollars. That expense adds up because the treatment needs to be repeated. Some patients uh, will come back as frequent as once every month. Um, others will come back uh, less than once every year. We don't want people to keep coming back forever but if they need to be coming back for a year, we think that's totally fine. While the long-term effects of the drug are unknown, Brian and Nicole credit ketamine injections with finally lifting them out of the darkness of depression. I felt like it was worth the risk, and I'm glad I did it because it changed everything from day one of the treatment. If I was without any further recourse. I wouldn't be here. I would have committed suicide. Two major pharmaceutical companies are now fast-tracking new medicines inspired by ketamine. A nasal spray version of the drug could be on the market by this time next year. Sarah Donchi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.